Did you know that today, Toronto has nearly 250 cranes working on construction sites around the city? And the city is poised to surpass Chicago as the city with the second most skyscrapers in North America. Toronto's skyward trajectory is shaping a skyline that's capturing global attention. So, what exactly is propelling Toronto's urban transformation? In this insightful video, we're venturing into the heart of Toronto's construction surge. Additionally, amidst this surge in construction activity, we uncover a heated competition between two colossal skyscrapers, the One and Sky Tower, both determined to secure the prestigious title of Canada's tallest building. Toronto's development boom is the result of three pivotal ingredients, policy, emigration and investment. As the city embraces diverse cultures and opportunities, the need for housing becomes paramount. It's a simple equation. More people mean more housing. Currently, over 100,000 people migrate to the Toronto region annually, drawn by its multicultural vibrancy, educational opportunities and promise of urban living. Fast forward to 2030 and Toronto is gearing up to house a whopping 3.5 million individuals, showing a remarkable 30% boost in population compared to today. With limited horizontal space due to 70% of the city's residential land being in the so-called Yellow Belt, area zone for residential construction, Toronto's solution is to reach skyward. The city's spatial constraints have spurred architects and developers to think creatively and design vertically, leading to an awe-inspiring collection of skyscrapers that redefine the urban landscape. At the heart of this construction surge is a battle between two giants, the One and Sky Tower, fighting for the right to claim Canada's tallest building. Mizrahi Development's The One and Pinnacle International's Sky Tower will be the first two buildings in Toronto and Canada to exceed 300 meters in height. The magic number when a skyscraper becomes a super tall. Let's first have a look at the Sky Tower development. The overall project by Pinnacle International, which includes the Sky Tower, is called Pinnacle One Young. Pinnacle One Young is a two-block architectural creation by Hariri Pontarini Architects. Made up of five new towers and one existing building, the old Toronto Star Building. However, she is scheduled for a facelift to fit in with her siblings. Situated on supposedly the longest street in the world, Pinnacle One Young is expected to completely transform the once lifeless 17 Young Street. Over 2,500 residential units will be available for occupancy, helping to somewhat solve the housing problem. Well, for the deep-pocketed anyway. Phases 1 to 3 of Pinnacle One Young development encompass the North Block and include three residential towers of 65, 92 and 105 storeys, with a hotel, somewhat affordable housing, a new community centre and retail. The 65-storey prestige skyscraper rises 261 metres above Lake Ontario and was completed in 2022 in Phase 1. Originally, the larger towers were only scheduled for 80 and 95 storeys, but with a late 2022 proposal for height increase, these towers could soar even higher by 12 and 10 storeys respectively, reaching astounding altitudes of 306 and 345 metres. Construction is already underway on the Sky Tower, with its colossal podium nearing completion. When complete in 2024, it will offer unparalleled views of Lake Ontario and the Toronto skyline. Phases 4 and 5 of the project will introduce two new office towers of 22 and 40 storeys, with extensive retail on the first two levels to the south block. Currently occupying the site is the Toronto Star Building, situated at the intersection of Young and Queen's Quay. The Toronto Star Building is set to retain its current occupancy, 
but with a transformative twist. Recladding and an additional 12 storeys will be added to its structure. Residents and visitors of the South Block will have access to outdoor amenities and public art, including two new public parks planned adjacent to the project site. Yet, the intrigue deepens. Throughout Sky Tower's evolution, its developer, Pinnacle International, has engaged in a fierce rivalry with Mizrahi Developments, the mastermind behind The One, in the race for the title of Canada's tallest building. Both developers have pursued height increases in recent years, with Mizrahi's application granted an increase to 91 storeys from the initially proposed 85, while the one's approved height of over 328 metres will claim the title from the current tallest building, First Canadian Place, at 298 metres. By the way, CN Tower is classified as a tower, not a building, so the tower can still keep his crown. The one, with its construction well underway, is due to be completed in 2026. But where does this extraordinary structure called home? Nestled in Toronto's vibrant Yorkville neighbourhood, at the bustling intersection of Young and Bloor, it shares the neighbourhood with other prominent skyscrapers including the 257 metre tall One Bloor Condominium Building and the historic Two Bloor West. The development of the One involved a complex process of land assembly, including properties at 768 Young Street and 1 and 11 Bloor Street West. Developer Sam Mizrahi acquired this prime real estate in 2014 for an impressive 300 million Canadian dollars. Now, let's talk design. Mizrahi enlisted the renowned London-based Foster & Partners as the design architects and core architects as the local architects. Their collaboration resulted in a groundbreaking design featuring an exoskeleton structure. However, the design underwent revisions based on recommendations from an engineering consulting firm and extensive wind tunnel testing. While the structural exoskeleton was removed, diagonal hangers were retained, giving the building its distinctive triangulated appearance. The first 18 storeys of the Wand will host a vibrant mix of restaurants, event spaces, luxury retailers and an upscale Hyatt Hotel under its boutique Andaz brand. The 160-room Andaz Toronto will offer guests an unparalleled experience, with amenities like an outdoor pool deck. Notably, the one was set to house Toronto's new Apple Store, with a remarkable three-storey vaulted ceiling and stunning glass panels. However, a legal dispute between Apple and Mizrahi Developments in 2022 led to delays in this exciting retail addition. Above the retail spaces, the One's residential section will offer 416 apartments, including four luxurious penthouses. With four underground levels for parking and a connection to Bloor Young Station, convenience and accessibility are paramount. The journey of the One has been marked by challenges and triumphs. From the initial demolition controversy to its groundbreaking in 2017, the project has persevered. As construction continued, the One secured financing, introduced stunning cladding and reached new heights. The One has demonstrated resilience, withstanding delays and even a stop work order. However, Pinnacle International's late bid for a height increase put Sky Tower in contention, possibly sealing its claim to the coveted tallest building title. Who knows who will come out top in this race? The One or Sky Tower? I guess time will only tell. As the skyscraper rivalry unfolds, Toronto is on the brink of witnessing yet another transition in its architectural landscape. This duel echoes historical battles for architectural supremacy, reminiscent of New York City's skyscraper race during the Great Depression. 
resulting in iconic landmarks like the Empire State Building. Just as historic rivalries have shaped cityscapes, the battle between the One and Sky Tower is leaving an indelible mark on Toronto's skyline, forging a new architectural legacy. Toronto is setting the stage for tomorrow where the sky truly is the limit. What's your opinion on Toronto's construction surge? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more stories that reshape our world.